Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Benny and I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Budapest. If this is your first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Please stay, kindly hit the subscribe button, like this video, share, comment, all that good stuff. Let's grow this community together. So as you can see by the title already, in today's video, I wanted to share with us a couple of practical, tiny habits that we can incorporate in our lives to boost our mental health. Now, before I jump into this video, before I jump into this topic right i just want to put it out there that i am not a licensed or trained therapist so this is not um medical advice that i'm giving or any of that sort this is not advice from a therapist if you require assistance with mental health please reach out to a licensed and trained therapist that can help you in this regard now that we have that out of the way um i just wanted to say that you know the world is quite chaotic and crazy right now so on a personal scale mental health can be very difficult to maintain or keep at you know really healthy levels right now so in this video i just wanted to share you know tiny habits that you can incorporate to help you boost your mental health on a daily basis so that you just find yourself in a healthier place in a much um you know better place you feel um you know better rejuvenated and nicer if you are dealing with depression or other mental health concerns please speak with a licensed therapist about that so my first um tiny habit which i um, I think is really good to incorporate to boost your mental health in 2023 would be to learn to love the silence. Guys, uh, I think if you look around you, if you check around you, you would realize that literally everything in the world right now is turned up to maximum volume. Literally, almost all the time, there is something in the background. Like you're either having a conversation in person or you're watching the news telling you what's going on in the world or you're listening to music which has these lyrics that subconsciously stay in your mind or you're watching a movie that has a message that subconsciously rests in your mind or you're listening to a podcast that has people's opinions just being um, put out there and there's just so much information flying all over the place right and it can get confusing, it can clog the brain, it can clog the mind, it can throw you off balance if you're not careful. So one tiny habit that I think would be nice to incorporate in your life um, to boost your mental health really is to learn to enjoy the silence. So for a set amount of time in a day, it could be 30 minutes, it could be one hour, it could be two. I think the more the better. It's important to just sit in silence. No music, no movies, no conversations, no nothing. Just literally sit in your own mind and process things in your own mind. Process things the way you understand them. Just literally allow your mind to function in a clear and clean environment it helps you to block outside noises and to actually pay attention to the voices inside your head this tells you when you need to uh, you know seek help this tells you when you're feeling okay this tells you that oh um you know sometimes it's just all the craziness that's going on in the world it basically helps to reassure you learn to appreciate the silence so my second any habit that i think you can incorporate in your life to boost your mental health in 2023 right would be to learn to take 15 20 30 minute walks every day after your main activity so it could be school or it could be work or it could be anything but i think it's very important to get out there um you know taking some nature taking um, all the goodness to boost like your serotonin levels in your body. This can help you to boost your mood, to reduce stress and just generally process everything that has happened to you that day in the best way possible. This is really connected to the first point I made about learning to love the silence, right? Basically just relieve yourself of the stress of the day and just, you know, remind yourself that there's still a beautiful world out there that is waiting for you and there is no need to get too consumed by 
everything that may be happening in the moment. So my third tiny habit that I think you can incorporate in your life to boost your mental health in 2023, right, would be to learn how and when to step away from toxic situations that you know maybe are just coming to you at the wrong time for you now as an adult it's important that you learn how to navigate conversations like you learn how to navigate uncomfortable situations in the best way possible you're not always going to find yourself in a conversation or in a situation where um you know it's comfortable or it's profitable to you or any of that however you need to learn how to navigate the situation but there are times in your life when having those conversations are just bad for your mental health and there is no need trying to navigate those situations or those conversations it's important to learn how to just step back or step away or remove yourself entirely from those situations or conversations and plug back in at a time when you feel that you are in a better place um, you know mentally or emotionally or when you're better equipped to handle those situations or conversations remember that when it comes to mental health you come first and you cannot um, compromise on your mental health ever it's the quickest way downhill literally you have to guard it with your life and with your entire heart so if you find yourself in situations or in any uh, at any point where you feel a, a conversation or a situation is not um right for your mind at the time right immediately disconnect respectfully okay so my next tiny habit that you can incorporate to boost your mental health in 2023 right would be to give yourself a night off social commitments when i say a night off i'm not necessarily talking about one night however some of us can be very extroverted very social people we you know we recharge by literally socializing with other people right however it's important that you take some time off for yourself and it's important that you're very intentional about it you can't honor every social commitment you can't always be there for everybody and every at every single time there are times when you need to spend time with yourself there are times when you need to take care of yourself there are times when you need to plug into your own self right and recharge by being just by yourself while i don't encourage solitude as a lifestyle because i strongly believe that human beings are social creatures i think it's important that you learn how to enjoy your own company right and you learn to recharge yourself from your own company strongly believe that this is a non-negotiable and if you want to boost your mental health then it's important that you pour into your own cup by yourself from yourself before you can feel that of others you should also remember that balance is key yes while you are an extrovert and you get recharged from socializing with other people you don't want to get burnt out from honoring these social commitments or always trying to be out there because the burnout is actually real so it's important that you learn that your me time is equally as important as the time that you give to other people so my next tiny habit or tip that you can incorporate in your um, life to boost your mental health in 2023 would be to feed your non-commercial hobbies we live in a day and age where it's almost like you have to monetize everything literally i can do this i need to monetize it I can do this I need to monetize it I can do this I need to monetize it I'm skilled at this I need to monetize it I'm do, 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 do. and it's, it's almost like in everywhere you turn it's money 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 mo it's like there are certain hobbies that you can just do for fun there are certain things that you can just do just so that you feel better there are certain things that you can just do just because like not every single hobby has to be commercialized say for example you are really artistic right you like to um, draw or paint or whatever i think it's important that you feed that hobby without thinking about commercializing it yes you could make a lot of money from selling your paintings or your artwork or whatever however i think you should reserve some of those hobbies 
just for the sake of being a hobby you could enjoy photography for example you could enjoy knitting for example you could enjoy so many things feed those hobbies that are non-commercial right obviously if your rent is due and you don't have money and you need to commercialize some hobbies that's completely fine what i'm saying is in order to boost your mental health right at times when your mental health does need boosting it's important that you feed your non-commercial hobbies just do things for the simple reason that you can do those things like you don't have to monetize every single thing this idea of always trying to monetize things of always trying to get money out of everything stresses the mind and because you're constantly thinking like if you go from how can i monetize this right then you go on to the thought of how much should i make from this then you go on to the thought of how can i make more from this then you go on to the thought of am i actually making enough from this like it's an endless cycle money is an endless cycle learn to take joy in the things that have nothing to do with money money is good money stops nonsense literally but not everything is about money. My next practical tip or my next tiny habit that you can incorporate in your life to boost your mental health in 2023 is to give yourself better options. There are times when, you know, maybe we have goals, there are things we need to do, there are things we need to get done. However, the mind is just in the wrong place. We can take the example of the gym. Maybe we have, um, you know, a weight goal that we're heading towards or like a fitness goal that we're working working towards and um, it's just on some days we're just feeling not up to it right so let's say we planned Tuesdays are leg days for example and on that day like which you know you, you, the muscles are just not muscling on that day I think you can take the option of maybe doing yoga instead that day or going to a Zumba class instead either way you are still working on your fitness However, in a different way that is not as tasking as what you have planned. You've basically still um, done something regarding your fitness. However, your mind feels better or more at ease. So my final tiny habit that I think you can incorporate in your um, you know, day-to-day -day life to boost your mental health or to ensure that you have um, you know, a healthy balance when it comes to your mental is to express yourself. It's to be expressive. There's what keeping things in your mind does to you and you may not even be aware of how much it affects you. To you, it might look like being the bigger person. It might look like being mature. It might look like being an adult. Like, I mean, it's life, right? I have to deal with what I have to deal with. But I think it's very important that you express yourself pick up your phone, call that dear friend of yours and tell them how you feel. Express to them what is bothering you in your heart. Speak to a therapist if you feel that you have gotten to a place where you now need professional help. Pick up that line and express yourself to somebody, to something. It could also be through journaling. You could have like a lot of thoughts clogged up in your mind and you literally don't know how to separate them or what to even do with them it's important that you express yourself it could be through writing it could be through singing it could be through anything basically what i'm saying is it's important that you express yourself if someone offended you for example it's important that you let them know that uh you know you're not happy with what they did to you and this is how it affects you there's no reason why you should keep it to yourself if you're also happy with someone or you're in love with someone and you need to tell them it's important that you just go ahead and do it or say it instead of keeping all those emotions in yourself. These things free up the mind, they help you live a better quality of life and literally they just um, give you a lighter heart I would say. So I think it's important that we learn to just be expressive in the various ways that are possible and available to us in order to boost mental health this year so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you found this video informative and helpful let me know your thoughts in the comments section and i also want to know other tiny habits that you have incorporated to boost your mental health in 2023 if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so 
follow me on my other social media everything is linked in the description box below and i will see you in my next video